Now, boy army, welcome to another video on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at some of the very best value players that EAFC 24 has to offer. Honestly, I found that most of the players in this video tend to be midfielders and attackers. I think there's probably a bit more of a wider variety of them. And then generally speaking, the players or cards that tend to be like seen as very good defenders I guess there seems in that case it seems to be that they're very expensive because most for the most part people tend to um just want the same types of them. Whereas attackers, there's just a lot more cards. So you'll probably notice that throughout the video. We've got card all the way here at about 100 k all the way up to like three million. So for me, there's a lot of insane cards. Honestly, I probably could have picked a few hundred, that's how many I really think feel like there is. We're starting with Lauren James. So Lauren James. Five star, four star, very, very good to begin with. Quick, great shot, good to very good passing. Honestly, it, with her build, she'll be pretty elite on the ball. 95 dribbling, whilst the Jillian bounce not great, it's very good. And then 97 strength, some pretty decent play styles. She is very, very good. Sol Campbell, we have got a defender in there now. Sol Campbell, if you think about it, one thing I've noticed was in this video, there's going to be a lot of icons, quite a few heroes. Icons and heroes, for me, if they're good, they're already naturally going to be better value. Simply put, icons are giving you the chemistry that you don't get from heroes. Um, Sol Campbell, absolute beast, really good card. Um, lacks maybe a bit of the pace of the top, top centre-backs now. Bit clunky, um, but his play style is pretty good. Does misanticipate though, but icon can. Beth Mead, are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that God Squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out iggm.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code Zell at checkout for a five percent discount. Check out iggm.com today. Five star, five star. Um, the play styles aren't great. I think that's one of the things that makes it more expensive, more expensive, more cheap. But with a hunter, she's got elite shooting, elite pace, good to very good passing, very good on the ball, elite strength, five five, very very good value, and she can play in a few positions. So a very underrated card considering she's five five. Barella, really good all round, eighty three plus on everything. Um, just messaging what's he saying. Um, what do you call it? Five star weak foot. Um, lots of really good stats. Barella's always very good on the game. Pretty good at everything. 99 stamina. Really good play styles. Long ball is one of the best play styles in the game. Combining long ball with five star weak foot. Very nice combo. Steven Gerrard. 4 4. 80 plus on everything. 90 plus on two really good ones. Um, the play styles are pretty damn good. Ping pass. Probably my second favourite play style on a midfielder after long ball. Cantona, I've not actually used the Thunderstruck Cantona. I used the 89 Cantona quite a bit though. And this is basically a slight upgrade, but with Gold Technical. Gold Technical is very, very good. It's miles better than the flair that he has on the normal. And the 89 Cantona is very good. So this card, very good. French icon chemistry as well. Marquisio, um, really good. Um, all round card again. Midfielders, you just want these good all round stats. Um, Serie A, double chem, um, hero chem, really decent mix of play styles, very good defensively, very good all round card, doesn't really have a massive weakness. Chavi, one of the best value players in the game, in my opinion. Not many cards under a million coins I would consider elite to the point that they could get into nearly any team in the game. Um, this Chavi is five star weak foot, four star skills. Really well rounded, quick, even at this point. Um, amazing play styles all around. Two of the best midfield play styles. About you're not really going to get a better passer all year. He's elite on the ball. His interceptions are really high. He feels fairly fine physically. An incredible card. Schweinsteiger, five star weak foot version is better in my opinion. The uh, other one with five star skills is about 150k more, but I do prefer the five star weak foot on the type of card he is. Centre mid and left mid, so it's not too bad to fit in the team. Ping pass, uh, long ball, technicals, 
Good, really good play styles in general. Um, rate this card a lot. Bobby Charlton was a couple of mil when the game came out. Now we've got, with a Hunter, a 99 finishing, 97 shot power, 99 pretty much pace card with elite stats elsewhere, five star weak foot. He's about 600k. Lacks some of the play styles, some of the top end cards, but he's a really good value card still. Zico, 5'5", five, five, 600k, um, icon Brazilian, really good stats, good play styles, but not the best, but still really good value. Diogo Jota, um, Rapid's brilliant. Aerial doesn't really matter on a card that's 5'10", which 5'5", five, five, though, really good all-round stats. He can even play midfield, I would honestly say, but this is a pretty solid card. Pop, got a few team of the years in here. She's 900k at this point. Gold finesse, one of the best play styles in the game, in my opinion. Five star weak foot, skill moves not bad. Um, really well rounded. I used her for a couple of weekend leagues. She's one of the most clinical players in the game. She actually feels fairly good on the ball. You really can't knock a card like that. Why not have a popper? Sam Kerr, one of the best finishers I've used again. Rapids good, quick step finesse. Five star weak foot, felt very quick, elite on the ball, elite physical. The jumping's a bit and heading's a bit whatever. Even with powerhead, I didn't really notice it because she's five six. But a really good all round card. And even though her passing stats aren't amazing, ninety vision, eighty nine short pass is still pretty damn good. Benzema, I prefer weak foot personally, especially on a card that's got um, finesse. Wish it was something better than aerial. If, like, if you had quick step or something, that'd really be nice on this card. But a five-star weak foot. Uh, the league is in not great, but French, very useful. Night pace, really good shot. Finesse, one of the best in the game. Good on the ball, really good card. Eusebio, still a top-tier card, even not the night two. Um, most people probably have the night two at this point if they got him, but really good card. Eusebio's always cracked. Ramirez, one and a half million coins. At this point of the game, on previous FIFAs, I would say that's a lot. But on this game, with how expensive cards are, that's actually not too bad value. Two very good play styles as well. You're not really going to get many quicker midfielders till probably team of the season. Even then, he'll be, still be up there. Um, he's just very good all round. This card can actually do a bit of everything. Renard, one of the top centre-backs in the game. Um, not cheap, but for the price tag, you're getting probably a top three to five centre-back. Ribery, two um, of the best play styles in the game in finesse and technical. French, five-star, five-star icon. <laughs> Um, pretty insane all around. Very good value. Cole Palmer, 2.4 mil. Maybe not quite as crazy value, but he's an elite card. He's got five-star weak foot, four-star skills. Um, he's got the finesse. He's got quick step. Two of the best play styles again. Technical, brilliant card. Rodri, one of the best CDMs in the game still. Um, two and a half mil. Has pretty much everything you want for the most part by an elite shot. Mia Hamm. 5-5, five, five. she'll be a card that, as long as she keeps these stats on FIFA, day one, till the last day of FIFA, she'll be able to play in any team and still be good and do a job. Um, one of the best cards in the game, day one, still very good. And then last but not least, Kevin De Bruyne. Finesse and ping pass, brilliant combo on a midfielder, five-star weak foot, um, 90 plus on free base stats, good defending, good physical, very good pace still. An incredible card. He also has a lot of passing play styles as well. Can't really knock this card. I do think they could have given him a few ball control. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to give you a good variety of players. Appreciate you guys as always for tuning in. Keep it spicy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.